Brian in Kettering, Ohio writes to me and he says, Paul, now that Apple has started to re-release their catalog as lossless, that's good, they're also touting Dolby Atmos sound for music and uh, have a few tracks showcasing the technology. I've heard there are others in the industry that are promoting Dolby Atmos and spatial audio is the next best thing in audio. What's your take on the technology? Are we audiophiles going to have to increase the number of speakers to listen to the forthcoming music? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to listen to Dolby Atmos, you got to have like what I have in my home theater. I've got, I don't know, 13 speakers, 12 speakers. It's ridiculous. It's nuts. It's cool, but it's nuts. In my home theater, I... Well, you know me, I'm a geek, right? So I got to have everything. I got to have it all. So when we built our home theater, we did, you know, my home theater installer says, oh, you got to have Dolby Atmos because everything today is going to be done in Dolby Atmos. And uh, what is that? Well, that speaker's up in the ceiling and the sides. God, if they could have done it, they would have put it in the frickin' floor. <laughs> but there are speakers everywhere, right? And we, we watch two to three movies a week, especially during the pandemic, my God, we were, you know, all the time. And I would say 95, 99% of those videos had nothing that was even remotely related to Dolby Atmos. It was the same tired old 5.1, center channel, left, right, rear channel, surround. That's how they're almost all mixed. It's rare that somebody takes a standard movie and does Dolby Atmos, at least that I can tell. I mean, today, I don't buy DVDs anymore. I don't buy Blu-rays anymore because everything's streamed, right? And the movies that actually have all the effects that I actually hear are the big blockbuster ones, you know, with the, the shoot 'em up and I just don't watch those kind of movies. To me, it, their storylines are tired. It's always the same crap. And I just, <sighs> and look, Terry and I, we're probably, we, we don't like depressing movies. We don't like violent movies. We don't like action movies without a plot. So it's, you know, it comes down to, we're gonna watch Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> anyway. Um, I know there's a trend. Gus has been working with Sony on making new surround stuff, but it all requires multiple speakers, definitely. It will require multiple speakers. I think it's a wonderful thing. I would love to see the world get away from two-channel audio and go to spatial audio. I think that's great, but we are a long, long way away from that. And at this point, I think we're just going to stick with two-channel. So. Anyway, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.